He's under center on first down. Back, looks right, comes back left, fires for Danny, makes the catch, uh -oh. stumbles to the turf at the 47-yard line with a gain of six and first down. I think he's hurt. And Danny is hurt. I've been rehabbing my elbow um, due to the injury from last year, and it's been going really well. And I'm a couple weeks away from being 100%, and it's really good because starting this off-season program, I can get a head start on that. Yeah, basically, I caught a ball over the middle, and I was um, trying to dart in between a couple linebackers. I put my hand on the ground, and next thing I know, I, it was it was flailing behind my back, and I was I was really scared. I didn't know uh, what had happened, but I knew that it wasn't good. Yeah, Danny was catching a ball, and he was trying to make a move on an opponent. And when he did that, he fell, and he fell on an outstretched arm trying to break his fall. And as he fell, um, he dislocated his elbow. And later shown, when we did get the MRI, that he, that he uh, did tear his tricep tendon at that same time. I was more disappointed than anything because I knew I was going to have to miss the rest of the game or miss you know, a couple weeks or, or in, you know, ultimately the season. Obviously, after injury like that, it's kind of tough, obviously because one of the biggest things with these guys is getting back and remembering the mechanism of injuries, putting his hand back on the ground. So when we phase into the rehab where we had to start doing push-ups and doing closed chain moves, we had to put his hand back on the ground. He was a little hesitant at first. Um, coming out of surgery, of course, it's real weak and you have to, you have to kind of mind the scar and, and the weakness in it. It was frustrating, but at the same time, uh, I got the opportunity to you know, watch a lot of film and, and kind of get better mentally and, 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 and become more of a smarter football player, not necessarily on the field, but in the film room. And that's one of the key components to rehab is not only just physically rehab, but also mentally rehab. And so we've got to make sure we build his confidence back up so when he's back out there, he has to put that hand back on the ground. We know he's going to be confident doing it. Right now, Danny's obviously kind of in that strength phase. Um, we're doing a lot of what's called closed chain exercise. We're getting his hands back on the ground. Um, he is under the back on the bench press, which is awesome. He's doing push-ups. We do also a lot of total body movements right now with him incorporating his lower body with his upper body. When you play football, obviously, it's a total body uh, type uh, movement out there, so we try to incorporate that. And also still a lot of the little rehab things of stabilization and things like that. Reggie's been, Reggie's been awesome. I feel like uh, he's, he's my brother. You know, we fight all the time. and. And he gets, but he gets me better. You know, he's uh, he's really, really good at what he does. He's the best, and I tell him that pretty much every day because he, you know, he, he works he works me pretty hard, and he's um, he's been there for me. And uh, you know, he, it's it's a testament to what kind of trainer he is. You know, I'm just really anxious to get back in practice, get back, you know, running routes and, and being with my teammates in the locker room and, and on the field.